welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine destine if you are new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's goody we are back with a new video i'm going to be doing a little life update and advice video i put up a questions and answers on my instagram story so if you don't follow me on instagram you should definitely go ahead and do that because i do like spontaneous stuff on there <laughs> like real spontaneous so i decided to just film this video because i just felt like talking and giving you guys an update i feel like i've been doing a lot of different things these past couple weeks so i want to give you an update on just what's been going on with me but then i also wanted to answer some questions because i've been getting a lot of like advice questions in my dms and i write back to you guys as much as possible like i try to respond to as many as i can throughout the week throughout the day if you're excited for the video then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications okay today's video is a sponsored video so shout out to love me here for sponsoring today's video i'm going to be doing my hair as i talk to you guys give you this update this life update and then also these um advice answers so yeah, that's gonna be real cute. We're gonna get cute together. I'm excited. If you guys are excited, then make sure you keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna open up this box of hair from a lovely hair. And you're always gonna get a little netted bag that your wig is gonna come in. And then you'll get some other stuff in here too, like a little pouch um, with usually like some kind of hair accessory, a couple of different hair accessories. And you get wig caps, which is perfect. I'm really excited about this wig. I want it to be like a wig I can throw on and go because it's getting warmer out and I honestly don't think I'm going to be wearing wigs too much. But if I am going to be wearing wigs, it's going to be something real easy. It's not going to be super glued down. It might be clipped in, you know, it might be braided in. I don't know. It's going to, it's going to, I need easier. Like I need easier and I need quicker in my life. I have this gorgeous 5x5 five five closure wig. This is the deep wave texture. I got it in 16 inches, 180% density. This is what the closure looks like. It's undetectable lace, like it's super thin. Love Me Hair has some of the best lace, affordable but luxury feeling hair, and just some of the best lace I've ever tried, honestly. Every time I work with their hair company, no matter the hair texture, the lace is always super, super thin. Like it has the frayed edges, which means that it's HD. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me get closer actually. But yeah, it has the frayed edges. The lace is super thin, so you wanna be really careful when you're putting this on. You don't wanna rip it, cause I've done that before too. Um, on the inside, the construction of the wig is just um, four combs, three along the crown, and then you get the adjustable strap at the bottom, and then you get an adjustable band. So this you can make looser or bigger depending on the size of your head, which I really like. I really like that. I'm gonna try it on to make sure that it fits me, and then I'm gonna customize it, and I'll come back and we'll put it on together. But I just wanna see what it's looking like straight out the box. I usually do this off camera. Yeah, I usually do this off camera. Thought I'd show you guys. Look at how thin the lace is. It's so thin. So we definitely are gonna pluck and tweeze her just a little. Give me, give me some time, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my bald cap on. I free sprayed it down and then I just put some of my foundation on it so that it can better melt with my lace. Um, the only customizing I did was bleach the knots and then tweeze the hairline on this closure and I gave it a little middle part. It already had a middle part, but I just defined it. And then I also sprayed the lace with lace tint, but that's pretty much it. I'm just going to be installing this and I've got questions, which I'm excited about. I was waiting for them to like pour in you know um the first question what do you recommend people do in their early 20s this is a good one that is such a good question um and i feel like i can answer that question obviously because i'm 25 so i've lived out the first like half of my 20s and i definitely ooh, it's getting drama live your life live your life if you're in your early 20s 
do not consume yourself with being in a relationship or being obsessed with being in a relationship or trying to be in a relationship or trying to find someone to be in a relationship with be in a relationship with yourself like literally date yourself like date people if you date people and explore outside and experience other people and get to know other people have people in your life of course but when it comes to like relationships like don't stress if you don't have a relationship or if you don't have a boyfriend like i know that it's something like going from like your teen years to your young adult years that you're like really excited about like you get to start dating and stuff but don't stress being in a relationship and if you're in one and it's not everything you want it to be and more then maybe reconsider not being in one <laughs> and i'm very biased in saying that but like that's just because i've experienced both like i was in a relationship for six years when i was from when i was 16 to 22 and that was like a really like large chunk of my young adult years but it taught me so much about myself when it ended and like i really feel like the growth that i had after that relationship was over into like my young adult years like my 23 through 25 like i really came into my own like i really came into who jasmine was because i was not i was still a kid when that relationship started obviously but like even throughout it like i feel like it stunted some of my growth at the time and i didn't see it and i feel like it's something that you might hear from older people and you're you hear it and you're just not receptive to it you're like mm, they don't know what they're talking about like i'm in love like i know how i feel like and i want to be with this person forever but it's just like it's not it's not practical it's not practical it's not realistic like you think you're gonna meet the person that you're supposed to be with for the rest of your life at 17 years old and you haven't tried or experienced or traveled or like literally like where you're from like it's just i know that some of you might not want to hear this like i know that it sounds it can sound a bit like negative but just do experience what you want to experience but if something isn't pushing you to be the best version of yourself then you might have to reconsider like how much time and energy you're putting into it and effort you're putting into it so this is what the hairline looks like after i tweezed it you can kind of see some of the bald cap there so i'm gonna take my got to be free spray and that's how i'm gonna be um, basically just sticking this whole little closure down i'm gonna just spray that in there and i need my elastic band Okay, so I put my elastic band on so that can melt. I'm going to dry cut this hair and I just want a little bit more of like face framing pieces. I haven't cut curly hair in a little minute, so. This isn't a tutorial, more so you guys just watching me do it, but basically when you cut curly hair, if you want layers, you wanna hold it to the side and you wanna cut going up this way and it's gonna create shape and volume upwards someone asked how is it being a doggy mom i want a pup too honestly being a doggy mom is great my baby, my baby's sleeping on my feet right now i'll show you guys him in a second but it's great it's definitely something new for me like i didn't expect it to be so much honestly i'm not even gonna lie like I'm a very responsible individual, but I just feel like this is like a whole new level of responsibility for me. And I, again, I'm not mad at it. Like it's not a bad thing, but I didn't realize how much work it was gonna be and how it, it just changed my overall like day to day. Not by, a lot but he's something that i have to factor in all the time now yeah he's something i have to factor in now like in my day to day and he's my son like he's really like my dog like he's i feel like i have a child like a child. 
he's such a baby he's so spoiled but he's so loved and i think yeah he's a very blessed puppy he's a lot sometimes like he literally does not give me personal space like no matter where i go in my apartment he is there like without a doubt he's right underneath me like he loves his mommy as he should but chill i'll be like can i get a, a an inch of space please <laughs> we're always like he's always touching me like he's either laying on me or yeah he's typically always just laying on me somewhere wherever i stop that's where he's like okay i'm gonna if i'm standing in the kitchen washing dishes he's sitting on my feet it's very cute though like i feel like i have the cutest little companion like he's my He's like my, he's, he really is my emotional support animal. I did get him emotional support animal like paperwork so I can travel with him and stuff, um, which I'm excited about because I just want to take him everywhere with me. That's my little baby. Yeah, I just needed to like shape it a little bit more. I want it to be like big curly hair so I can kind of just like slap this wig on and go. If you want to be a dog mommy and you're okay with the idea of feeling like you are a parent to a small child, then do it. If you're not ready for the responsibility of them having to literally be trained from birth because, I mean, it depends on how young you get your puppy, but you would want to get them pretty young so that you can train them, you know, to live the way that you want them to live so if you want them on a very specific schedule but if you do get a dog that's older and you just want to be a dog mom also understanding that there might be certain tendencies that dog that dog is now used to um that you have to just incorporate into your life like it has you have to be okay with it you know like but there's just certain things that i'm teaching him now that i'm trying to train him um to be comfortable with and to know how to do and so that my life could be a little bit easier, child. I don't know. Like, next question. Love your confidence. Advice on building confidence, please, and being consistent with the workouts. So I would say as far as my confidence, I definitely feel like I have built my confidence up over time. I was not always the most confident individual. Definitely wasn't the most confident individual in the room. Um, but... I feel like it was something that I always wanted for myself, so I tried to make it something that I worked at, if that makes sense. Like I actively tried to work on being more confident, something that I feel like I've said before in previous videos that I've done, or I did, I still do honestly, is um, when it comes to like my body and stuff standing in front of the mirror and literally saying out loud the things that i love about my body the things that i love about myself like literally like i look at them and i'm just like yes i love this like and i know it's hard in the beginning when you feel like you look at yourself in the mirror and there's nothing that you see that you like or that you love but i want to i urge everyone to stand up in the mirror and look at yourself and find one thing like literally find if it's your your eyes or your lips your legs your height your shoulders your clavicle your boobs your butt your belly button like literally whatever your freaking ears like if there's something that you like about yourself like stand up in the mirror and say it over and over again and just like look at yourself like genuinely look at you and appreciate you because god only made one you point blank period there's nobody else that's like you there's nobody else that looks like you there's no one else that is you therefore that is your superpower like that is what should make you the most confident because you know that at the end of the day nobody can walk up and look exactly like you nobody can enter a room enter a space and be you only you can be you so that should be that it, it has to come from within it genuinely does that's the only place that it's going to come from you can't find confidence in another individual or someone telling you um you have to find it within you have to appreciate yourself you have to be nice to yourself you have to you have to oh my gosh you have to be nice to yourself that's probably that's probably the most important advice because i feel like People, we have a tendency to be very mean to ourselves and we don't even realize that we're speaking so negatively. 
This really looks like how my hair is gonna look in like a couple of months when I get a proper cut. I'm gonna be like, give me that curly fro, healthy fro. But yeah, back to what I was saying. We have to be nicer to ourselves. I feel like I oftentimes will read comments even of people like essentially admiring me or my beauty or my confidence or speaking positively on me but simultaneously pointing out a negative of their own or like speaking in a way where they're kind of like downing themselves and i i don't feel like that's necessary like you can you can praise another person for being beautiful or for seeing something in them that you want in yourself but you don't have to put yourself in a in a space where you're associating bad with you allow yourself grace not everyone is perfect people make mistakes i'm gonna just wet my hair with this spray bottle and then i'm gonna take a little bit of the shea moisture curl and style milk and i'm gonna just add it to the hair okay next question getting back into dating after a breakup Honestly, I think uh, it depends on the person. I think it's different for everyone. Some people, it may take, you know, a month. Some people, it may take three months. Some people, it may take a year. You know, I feel like it's up to you on when you want to get back into dating after a breakup. But as far as like how to do it, um i think if there's a level of comfortability you have to be at to allow someone to get to know you again because whether you broke up with someone because they hurt you or you guys just realized that you didn't work out there has to be a level of vulnerability there to do it all over again with someone new or to allow new people in to have that opportunity and as far as like doing it just do it i don't know i don't feel like you should overthink it like if it's something you feel like you're ready for to start dating again then do it <laughs> like put yourself out there you have to open yourself up to allow people in so do that but oh this is so cute um i'm not really one that's like into dating apps or anything like that so I don't know how, I feel like every time I've gone on a date with someone, it's because they've approached me. I haven't been one to shoot my shot yet <laughs> at somebody else. So if there's someone that's been trying, maybe give them an opportunity, check them DMs. <laughs> I don't know, I, I can't, I don't like, I actually hate meeting people through Instagram and like, going through the dating process or the talking process that way. I absolutely hate it because I'm a in-person kind of person. Like I wanna be asked out or like approached in person. I don't like texting, I'm not a texter. So I don't wanna have conversations online. And I just feel like it gives people more of an opportunity to not necessarily be genuine in who they are. I feel like it's kind of hard. Well, no, no, people can still be fake in person too. But what I'm saying is like, if I don't genuinely click with someone on a first, like a first impressions basis, like if we are in front of each other, if I'm out at a party and you approach me and by the end of the night or whatever, you are trying to like get my number so that we can like go on a date. If I have already decided that mm, I didn't really click with this person, I'm not gonna give them my number. I'm not a small talk kind of girl, so I'm not gonna just entertain people for no reason. Like I have to genuinely fuck with you, I guess you could say. So yeah, that was that. Someone asked, am I single? Yes. Um, I have not been in a relationship for uh, like six months now, seven months, I think seven months. So, yeah, yes, I'm single. Um, someone else asked, how do you like living alone? I love living alone. But I'm like an alone person. I love living alone. I like not having to negotiate anything with anyone. I like the fact that everything that I choose to do is ultimately my choice. 
So I just feel like it's gonna be so hard to make that transition <laughs> for when like, I have to like be with someone because I'm gonna be like so used to just being able to do things when and how I wanna do them. Um, yeah, definitely not going to be ready for that. I don't know when that is though. That's like a long time from now. Honestly, I'm really enjoying living by myself. And it definitely has its moments of, well, before I got Benson, it definitely had its moments of feeling lonely. But now that I have him, I don't feel like I ever feel lonely because he's there. Like, no, he's not a person, but he's definitely a companion. Like, dogs are companions, pets are companions. Like, any, any pet is a companion. So, like, no, we can't have conversations and stuff, but I definitely feel like another aura with me. I feel another energy, I feel love, I feel care, I feel comfort. Like, he's, he really is my emotional support. <laughs> he really, really is. Okay, so this is what the hairline looks like. <laughs> Babes, it's giving scalp. So that is what the lace looks like. I'm gonna melt it a little bit more. And just let that melt. I'm gonna diffuse my hair a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and take this off and I feel like it should look the way it's supposed to look. So two seconds. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I'm waiting for my hot comb to turn on so I can kind of like press this part down just a little bit, just right at the, the part, just right at the part. But I'm not mad at it. And then I pulled my hair out around my ears just to cover the sides, but you don't have to do that. You can pull your wig more forward and it wouldn't show. Um, you can completely have no hair pulled out. I just wanna have a little bit of hair pulled out. Someone asked, how's the influencer life? Um, I, <laughs> it's good. It's stressful um, because it's a 24 seven job, literally 24 hours out of the day, seven days a week. There's something work-related, influencer-related, brand related that i'm most likely working on unless i'm sleeping <laughs> so <laughs> there's it, it's just like i'm a one woman show so i'm literally doing everything i do want help like and i think about hiring like an assistant sometimes or i think about hiring like an agent or a manager a brand manager but it doesn't i don't know it's something I want to do, but then I also like, will they do as good of a job as me? So those, that's kind of like my doubt because I feel like I've given that an opportunity before more than once. People have gotten chances and it hasn't really panned out to anything or like gone anywhere. So I'm like cool with doing it on my own right now, but it is stressful. <laughs> so I'm just going to boil it down to influence your life is stressful, but it's but I guess, yeah, it's so, much, it's so exciting. Could you see yourself moving to another city? Uh, honestly, right now, no. I do plan on being in LA for a while, for a long time. Like, I, I love this city. So I don't see myself moving anywhere soon right now or in the future. But then again, I you never know. Like, I can't plan life in that way because as much as you want to plan stuff out god's plan is the only one that really matters and whatever he has in store for you and what you are gonna do is what you're gonna do so <laughs> i'm not one to like super plan out like way in advance or like have like a five-year plan or anything like i think about that stuff often and a lot but it's not something that i'm like planning actively planning Seriously, if you don't have a hot comb and you wear wigs, you are, you're just, you're setting yourself up for something a little less than perfection. <laughs> because there's just something about the hot comb 
when it comes to your parting and your lace and everything that you can't achieve with anything else. Like you need a hot comb. This one's literally $20. So you have no excuse. And I got it from Amazon. Someone asked, do you still want a boob job? You know, I do. I probably want like a boob lift, like a lift and a reduction and less of like implants. Um, but yeah, for sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you crate training Benson? What does he do when you have to leave him alone? So I, I tried, okay. <laughs> I tried getting a fence. So like one of those collapsible fences that you can set up and block off a certain area so that they don't, you know, they're not just able to like free roam all over your entire apartment or house. But he literally like figured out how to get over it. He like basically climbs the fence. So that didn't work. Um, so now I am crate training him because before that, before the fence and the crate, I was kind of just letting him free roam while I like went to the gym because I, I I work from home and I do a lot of things from home so I don't really leave my apartment that often but when I did it was either probably to run errands or to go hang out with my friends or to go to the gym and in those times I would only be gone for at most maybe four hours three hours two hours an hour and a half so I was just like closing my bedroom door, closing my bathroom door, and then he was able to basically walk around the kitchen and the living room. And then I have like his whole bathroom set up outside on the balcony. So I would leave the balcony door cracked. But sometimes I would come back and he was like gnawing on one of my shoelaces, on my shoes, or you know, he drags like everything to the carpet. He does like this thing where he drags all of the the kitchen towels and like shoes and any miscellaneous clothes he can get his hands on or his paws on <laughs> and he'll drag it to the carpet and just like make a little pile and like play with it and I'm like why are you doing this to me but it's kind of cute but it's also like no stop don't do that <laughs> so I got the fence but then he like figured out how to freaking jump over the fence and the fence is cute and it's sturdy so I was like oh this is lit like now it's like he has his own little playpen area because I literally just blocked him off to the living room but he figured out how to jump over so yeah now I'm crate training him so every time I leave I put him in the crate if I go to the gym I put him in the crates um, at nighttime though he does sleep on my bed he just sleeps at my feet on top of my covers I don't allow him to step on my sheets or on my pillow and I bathe him once a week um, and then I have puppy wet wipes so I'm constantly wiping his paws but again he's a he like stays inside with me so he doesn't like get super dirty or go out often or even interact with outside that much like he really is like a puppy that stays inside like he's a homebody but I'd be playing with him and stuff and I try to take him out you know every couple of days so he can get but he also like loves my balcony so he'll just sit out there in the sun in the daytime by himself like just lay out in the sun so he gets to experience fresh air and stuff because <laughs> i know i'm gonna have some people are gonna be like oh you need to be taking him outside every day i don't even go outside every day okay so we live the same life me and him and i think he's fine he's a very happy puppy yeah i think that did what it was supposed to do for the part like I feel like I just wanted it to look like it was coming out of my scalp you know like this is what it looks like it looks so good oh yeah and then I pulled my hair out on the sides and I'll probably do like some baby hairs just right here and yeah this is what it looks like I'm gonna do my makeup really quickly, like just a really quick little cute beat, and then I'll be back to answer some more questions. And yeah. You guys, I finished my makeup. I don't know why I was really feeling color today, so I did a colorful look. I haven't done this probably in like, since I think the last colorful look I did was like Halloween, which is so crazy, because I used to always do colors like this, but. It's giving like gender reveal party. Like why do I have pink and blue in my eyes? 
because I'm not pregnant, okay? <laughs> um, I wanted to match my little bralette, my little two-piece set that I have on, so that's why I did the blue, and I don't know, the pink just looked cute, so. That's my makeup, but I'm gonna answer some more questions because they're still rolling in. Someone asked, what made you want to start vlogging? Where'd you work before Instagram? What's the pros slash cons? So I, before Instagram, I was a makeup artist, a freelance makeup artist, and I worked at Mac. So I did it outside of working at Mac and I freelanced with Mac. And I did that for four years. So um, in that entire time, I already had my YouTube channel. So I posted a lot of beauty content videos, like makeup tutorials, hair videos. I just did basically anything beauty because that's what I've always loved. So I already had a YouTube channel. And then um, I first started vlogging when I would go on vacation. And I remember I vlogged like my very first like big girl trip, <laughs> me and my boyfriend at the time went to Miami for his birthday and I vlogged that trip and it did really well like it did better than my regular content so then every time i went on a vacation i tried to vlog it and do a video for my channel and it kind of always did well like they yeah they pretty much always did well so that's just kind of like how i started vlogging and then from there you guys just wanted to see especially once i moved to california you wanted to see like my day to day you know my life like not necessarily vacation vlog content but just like my lifestyle vlog content so that's kind of just like how i transitioned from doing vacation vlogs to like weekly vlogs and day in the life and things of that nature and now it's like full on my niche that's what you guys want to see from me and what you enjoy the most so i'm really happy about that because it's something i always wanted to do but i didn't start off doing it obviously um and then what's the pros and cons i would say the pros are definitely you get to capture very like significant moments beautiful moments moments that you want to remember trips you know milestones things of that nature on cameras for you to like always go back and watch so it's kind of like a keepsake like it's just like really nice to have for instance my 25th birthday in an entire vlog that i can go back and watch for years to come like i'm so excited about that i like watching my old videos just to see how far i've gone and like my progress in all of these years so that's definitely a pro a con would be probably you have to be very vulnerable and let people into your life and into your space because they want to see as much as possible you guys are constantly asking to see like the inside of my apartment and you just want to know like you guys want the bee's knees and that's not a con i mean it can be for some but for me i'm like kind of used to it but yeah i would say that that would probably be a con benson's favorite thing to do oh my god bite <laughs> but not like not like hurt you bite he doesn't want to hurt you when he's biting he's very playful he's a puppy so he likes doing what he's doing right now which is chewing on his little chew toys that make the little squeaky noises so if you hear that in the background background that's what that is so he he does like to like playfully like kind of gnaw at your hand um but do, i don't let him bite people and when he does like i have to reprimand him because i don't want him to get into the habit of knowing that biting is okay because it's not so i try to like be on top of that but he loves to play he like has his little playful outbursts throughout the day uh, benson he has his little playful playful outbursts throughout the day where he like wants to play and i usually stop my work or whatever i'm doing at the moment and i try to like play with him and interact with him but then he loves to sleep too which i love because it allows me to do stuff but then sometimes i also take a nap with him we'll nap together and he sleeps just like me that's my little twin i love him what else what else what else i love you that's it oh i love you too girl thank you so much you guys are so old advice on slow growth on youtube you have to stick to it do not get discouraged make sure you stay remain consistent because that's i feel like the way that you're gonna see the most growth um and then after you hit like a certain milestone i feel like for me it was like once i hit like 50k i was steadily you know with just posting i steadily was gaining followers like a lot of followers every month and it kind of just progressed over 
time and then you know you'll have like a random video that might go viral or do really well and you'll just hit a burst of like 10 or 15 or maybe 20,000 subscribers so what I would just say to stay consistent don't get discouraged by the small numbers because it is a very very slow build um, but I would say influencer tip if you guys really want to see like growth you want to invest time and effort into a social platform and see growth and it literally like grow overnight I mean not literally for some it does but not for all TikTok TikTok is going to be that social platform like everybody's on TikTok right now TikTok's algor algorithm is really good and the growth that you're able to have on TikTok like literally in less than six months i had my 49k that i think i have on there now and then i kind of just stopped posting which is why it's gotten kind of stagnant but i am going to be putting more time energy and effort into tiktok because i love tiktok it's honestly one of my favorite apps twitter is hands down my favorite app but tiktok is up there someone said how do you manage your job slash work and still have fun time for yourself it's so hard for me um, I definitely would say that it's a balance that I'm still trying to fully understand myself, especially being like an entrepreneur. I don't know why I put it in air quotes because I'm an entrepreneur child. Being an entrepreneur, working for yourself, um, you definitely are working more than I would say someone who's like working at you know a place of business where you're clocking in and clocking out because it's more like 24 7 like i was saying earlier so you want to definitely like if you're in that field where you're working for yourself or you have a business and you're working around the clock you want to factor in like you literally want to schedule in time to relax you want to schedule in time to be social you want to schedule in time to see your friends to see your family don't consume yourself with work and grind mode and not like enjoy life with the fruits of your labor and also like take a minute to just slow down because we don't want to like grind ourselves into an early grade you know stress is very stress is not good for the body there are so many things that being stress induced or like being anxious cause you to have does that make sense you know what i'm trying to say stress is not good for you relax factor in that time to to be to have fun like literally schedule plan dates with your friends plan dates with your significant other if you have one plan dates with your family like do stuff that's fun that you want to do that you want to experience because life is life and you should enjoy it and work will be there work will always be there you're always gonna have to as an adult like you're always gonna have to go and make money so you can survive so that you can pay your bills so that you can continue to live so that you can continue to do nice things someone asked can you talk about dating and finding friends in a new city um dating and finding friends okay so i feel like i briefly spoke on the dating aspect earlier um dating for me is just it's not at the top of my priority list like if it happens it happens like if I meet someone and I want to go on a date with them or they want to take me on a date, that's great. But I'm not actively pursuing it or like going out with the hopes of that I'm going to meet somebody that's going to want to take me on a date. Does that make sense? I feel like when you chase something, it's harder for you to acquire it. And that's not with everything, but I'm specifically talking about relationships and like formulating relationships with people like making friends or finding someone to fall in love with like finding a lover finding a soulmate finding a significant other you can't like really make that happen like it's going to come to you when you're ready and when you're supposed to have it and like when you're gonna be accepting of that but like i would say focus on yourself child like i feel like in all the instances that i've made new friends or met someone new it was that i was doing something that I was doing for myself that I knew that I was gonna enjoy for myself like okay for example I was at the gym and someone approached me and we became friends so it's just like I was there for me I was working on myself like I was in my own world and someone approached me and was like hey like you seem really cool we have the same interests. you guys do you want to work out together and then that's like a way to make a friend you know you can put yourself in the position to meet new people by like going to certain things like 
going to a party by yourself or going to like an event by yourself or going to a nice restaurant and sitting at a bar and by yourself <laughs> because you have to also think that it's gonna be harder for someone else to approach you if you're like with a group of girls like if you're with your girlfriends and you're with your a group of guy friends like nine times out of ten you're not gonna get approached by someone that's wanting to talk to you unless they have a friend too for your friends you know what i'm saying like i feel like in all of the instances where i've been approached like to go on dates or even friendships i was always by myself like i was running errands you know going food shopping going to target or something or i was at the gym or i was walking down the street i don't know like i've always just been in those instances i've always been by myself in the rare instances that i've been like at a party or something they're most likely with a group of people too or with one other person and i'm with my best friend so it's kind of just like a double date kind of situation like a two you know you okay which one do you want okay you want that one okay i'm gonna go for that one like you know like that so um i don't think that you can like make it happen but you can definitely be open to it and like manifest it you can manifest starting healthy relationships with people like you can manifest wanting to have healthy friendships if you don't feel like you have any or having a healthy romantic relationship with someone if you don't have that um but that's just like that literally would just start with you positively like affirming that for yourself out loud like saying like i'm deserving of a healthy supportive strong nurturing love like i'm deserving of a romantic emotionally supportive driven man to enter my life and and grow with me like you just have to say things like that and just say them out loud and you have to believe them and once you believe it <laughs> you can acquire you can have it because you're it's like a chant it's like you're you're speaking it into existence literally you guys know i'm so like i'm so big on manifestation like i love manifesting i love writing down i love journaling what i want out of life the things that i want to acquire my goals my aspirations my dreams like i'm really big on that so i feel like i only started to acquire those things or have those things when i started to believe that i was worthy of having those things and like almost like practicing it like how can i if if you want something in your life you have to make room for it so if you want a relationship you have to make room for a relationship in your life but you also already need to be like if you want a man to come into your life and essentially do for you what you already do for yourself you have to already be doing it for yourself you know like if you want someone to come in and like take care of you or be supportive of you or be loving of you you need to love yourself you need to support yourself you need to do for yourself already so it'll just be like a plus that this person now wants to come in and do for you so now you can like do for yourself but then they're also doing for you so it's just an abundance it's like an overflow of the things that you want in life the things that you feel like you're accepting of the things that you feel like you're worthy of <laughs> does that make sense i hope it does someone said what did you do or use to grow your hair out it's grown so much <laughs> i've worn wigs literally i feel like when i don't touch my hair like i'm not manipulating it i'm not pulling it back into tight ponytails or buns or slicking it down or straightening it putting heat on it like if i'm not touching it and i'm just like tucking it away under a wig braiding it down oiling my scalp deep conditioning it and putting on a wig that's when my hair does the best like i don't want to touch it like i just want to let it be and let it do and i'll take off my wig you know once a week wash my hair let my scalp breathe all that stuff i'm not wearing wigs back to back but definitely i feel like wigs are a way for you to allow your hair to be low maintenance because you're not touching them you're and you're not touching your hair but then it also allows for like growth it's a protective style because your hair is literally protected underneath here i i have the smallest bit of leave out and it's honestly not that much it's just so that if the wind does decide to blow i'm not gonna look like super crazy because my hair is 
under here. And this hair is so cute. Like, let me just shake her out without getting it. I have lip gloss on. It's so cute. Wait, there's a hair. Like, yeah, so this is what it looks like from the front. And this is what it looks like from the side and the back. I actually love this wig so much. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this really often. I'm probably just gonna, this is gonna be my like slap on and go wig. I told you I needed a good little closure slap on and go. This is what the lace looks like. It's giving fresh out the scalp. Like it's giving, yeah. And this is like, look at the curls. The texture is so pretty. This deep wave hair is gorgeous yeah so all links to this wig will be down below in the description box with like all of the little details for the wig as well you guys can definitely go and check that out if you guys want to shop with love me hair and purchase this gorgeous wig i did cut a little bit of some layers into it but honestly oh she's just so cute so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's life update advice video question and answer advice video this was honestly so much fun to film for you guys i definitely want to do more of these so if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a comment down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the fam turn on your post notifications benson benson papa you want to come say you want to come say bye to the people papa Yes, you do, Papa. Yes, you do, Papa. Okay, okay. Okay, let's not bite Mommy's hair. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the tribe. I love you guys so much. Vincent loves you guys so much. Vincent, say bye. Papa, say bye. <laughs> His tail is wagging like crazy. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Papa, okay, Papa. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.